hello hello another fine thursday evening hello good to see you black fox you can be a good boy we have a special guest this evening hanging out next to me in the co-pilot's chair is none other than my little buddy roscoe hey buddy he is laying flat on the floor looks tired He has had a kind of a crummy day because he's, last couple days, he's had a little bit of a tummy problem. So, just been trying to get through that. Yes, Doggo, there is Doggo here. There is Doggo. And I'm not getting any musica. There we go. There we go. That's better. I have to restart the capture. Yeah. Yeah, he's just chilling there on the floor. Someday in the future, maybe we'll have Roscoe Cam. Yeah. Oh, you do not care what Daddy's doing, do you? Yeah. You're just chilling? That's a good boy. That's a very good boy. And I believe I have frozen. I know, buddy. I know. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, I know. My goodness. Let's see if I can refresh this here. There we go. That's better. No, I'm not frozen. I have to unfreeze my tail now. There we are. Just took a moment. Ah, rightily diddly. So how are you doing, Black Fox? It's been a kind of a hot day up there, and you said there were storm clouds rolling in before, weren't, didn't you? Actually cooled off down here quite a bit. And he's gone. <laughs> I knew he'd get bored of me eventually. Hey, Adorbald, welcome to the stream. Good to see ya. Yeah, it's nice to have people here. Yes, we had uh, we had Roscoe with us for a couple minutes. He's he's actually set up to kind of be able to walk in and out of the office. So you may hear some squeaks. You may hear some. Oh, that is him. That is the boy. So I do know that. Uh, I'm not certain if uh, if Gray is going to join us tonight. Um, I had mentioned to him that uh, that I'm I'm happy to work on uh, his request with uh, without him here if he wants. But uh, I always prefer having um, having input of the uh, the people who are doing stuff. So um, if he is not here this evening, that's okay. I will just spin Dasville. In fact, I might do that just now, just to kind of get that out of the way and see if we can't uh, see what we're going to do possibly this evening if we're not doing forts and forts and crafts. So give me just a moment. Stupid Jew. Okay. There we go. I had to restart the capture on all my stuff. Da da dee dee. Da dee dee. Da da dee dee. That's the alt button. Here we go. 
All right. Why am I? Man, I am just blanking on everything today. All right. Now I have to get my spinning music because it's no good to spin without my spinning music. All right. Spinning music. Here it comes. It's coming. Over here. It's over here. It's over in the spot. Why are you at the bottom of my freaking playlist? Good God. Don't rename it. I want to play it. Come on. Sheesh. All righty. We're spinning that wheel. Let's see what we get today. Oh, oh, Sib chooses. Oh, God, yes. Well, everything's coming up Zib, isn't it? Okay. Plenty of potion. Don't have a whole lot happening here. So tell you what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. In fact, I'll show you. It's a genuine bona fide monorail. What's it called? Honor it. So what we'll do in the meantime, while we are just chilling out here at the beginning of the stream, we can pick back up where we were in Mega Man 3. And just get that going, see if any more folks trickle in. <laughs> that's a that's a different stream. Uh, I'll send you the link later. Uh, there we go. There's the emulator. All right, music. Step back for a moment. Ah, uh, find Chemical Plant Zone remake by, uh, Sensor. Uh, Sensor Prototype. Very, very good remake. Um, adds a lot to it, I think. And then, uh, ba -ba -da -boo. Let's get this. Do, 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 do. Yep, that was, uh, that was from Sonic 2. That was a remix of the Chemical Plant Zone. One of the most, uh, memorable... And uh, excellent um, Sonic levels. Oh, goodness. Let's get this wheel out of here. There we are. We got, we got all... Everything's all higgledy-piggledy here. Zoop. I said zoop. Yes, the wheel blocks the view. It's an obstructing wheel of mighty power. There we go. That's better. All right, let's see if we can't load our previous save game. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and the controllers... I have had the controller charging for like three days. So... Let's head on out to the Sparkman stage. This, this controller is practically amped. Get my buddy Rush Coil. Everybody needs a dog to jump on. Boink. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, that's right. Shadow Blade. 
you. There we go. I'm pretty sure that this controller could suplex me if I looked at it wrong. It's about where it's at right now. Your D&D character got a large drone. So now you have not only a uh, punch missile. Oh, God. Punch missile twice. Three times with the punch missile. Man. So your D&D your character has like this crazy menagerie of robots now, doesn't it? My God. Are you in my Starfinder group? Because they have an army of robots. Metalman! John Metalman. Uh, what's good against metal? Why, magnets, of course. Magnets of the dick. <laughs> I, I've always thought that uh, Magnet Man, uh, or, or Magnet Missile Mega Man, looks like Working Man Mega Man. Like, this This looks like a Mega Man that comes home after a hard day, and he's just like, ah, Joyce, don't tell me the kid's got in trouble again. I mean, it's on the cover of the game. I mean, I'm assuming that that's just what they want you to do. Oh, did I just get through the spikes? I did. Look at that. Through them spikes. And then I get slapped by a freaking... Coleman Lantern. Hey, Gray, there you are! Playing a quick round of Mega Man. Didn't know if you were going to be able to join us tonight. Let's see if we can beat out this level and then head on over to Ye Old Clip Studio and get some work done on Wither. Do, do, do. Whoops. Okay, we got one hit point left. And I have no E-Tanks. Fantastic. <laughs> ah, man. Yeah, man, you gotta get your sleep. Some dangerous nuts. A dangerous screw and a danger dangerous nuts. F word. I'll take swords. Well, I'm glad you can go ahead and turn your brain off on my stream. My stream is a bag of Doritos to a hungry person. Of no real value, nutritionally, but still, sentimentally. Alright, I don't even know who this is. Who's this? Who are we going for? Ooh, fettuccine. I had fettuccine. I had chicken fettuccine uh, Alfredo with um, bacon in it. And it was delicious. Uh, I forgot. Oh, it, Quick Man. Quick Man? I think it's Quick Man. Let's try the uh, Search Snake. Oh, yeah. This this is this reeks of, of Quick Man. Okay, bro. Bro. Wow. Okay, good, 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 good. If I could point the right way for more than a second or two, I would be super cool with that. Would you run into my snakes, please? I need you to run into my snakes. I know, yeah, there's like 8,000. The, like, the background is moving. The foreground is moving. You've got the robot. You've got our, our bullets. It's, it's, it's a bad idea. 
And then one of the only ways to get up to Quick Man. Oh, utter skill. Eat my dick. Zoop. Oh, and immediately saving. All right. Boop. And saved. Well, now that the esteemed gray is with us, we can get to... We can get to the work at hand. Megaman, step back. Boop. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's get some tunes up in here. Get some. Can I? Can I get some tunes up in here? Or just you know, we get. We just gonna be quiet. Okay, this sucks. There we go. All right. Do 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 do. Boop, boop, boo, doo. Okay. Just getting my newts. All right. I have a magic pencil around here somewhere. There it is. Ha ha. All right. Cool. So I I found this pose on um, Clip Studio in the uh, in the three D assets. So I'm, I'm borrowing it. All right. All right. Let me load up some of these notes here. All right. And Gray, you had said that that um, that Wither is primarily uh, felinoid, right? Like he's he's more of a feline, like a tabaxi. I'm still Roscoeless. Sweet. All right. Any particular uh, cat breed that he leans towards, like a uh, like a bobcat or like a panther or something like that, or we just go in potpourri here. You got it. That's what my little my little newbie was like. She was like a little panther. She was all gray. Well, she was she was a tortoiseshell. She was gray tortoiseshell. Cutest little thing you ever did see. Well, I mean, you know, in terms of being a small gray cat, no. Otherwise, no, you fit the bill perfectly. Okay. I'm going to get some cat in here. I don't know what failed to download, but cool.
do. Not feline enough. Just throwing stuff at the wall here to see if it sticks. So, don't be surprised if you see things coming in and out of focus. So, Dorbald Gray, how's your day? Did you get through it all right? I know I was struggling around 2 o'clock. I was like, I need to get out of here. <laughs> ah, no, nah, man. This is just a request. It's all good. Ah, uh, you're the good luck charm for the baseball team. There you go. Cute kobolds always are. If you, I'm surprised more teams don't just have them around. Drawing glove, there you are. <laughs> Nice bowl of pasta will do that. You get a good good bowl of pasta and 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 a comfortable spot, and I'm 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 good. I actually was looking into to doing this um, the other day. I was kind of trying to to do a little more research. And uh, one of the things I stopped on was um, John Blacksad. Um, I love, I love the Blacksad comics. I highly suggest them. They're beautifully done. They're a, they're a noir style uh, comic, like detective work. Um, but they are, they're very much uh, reflective of the medium of their time. Um, oh, favorite pasta, uh, rigatoni alla vodka. Done. I win. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the black sad books, uh, they're out there. Um, I don't think dark horse is doing them. Um, it's, uh, it's some other publisher, but I highly suggest that they are excellent. Um, the art's beautiful and they're very, very much in the same style as, as the old noir movies. I mean, there's, you know, blood, sex, and gore. I mean, it's, I wouldn't say gore, but you know, you know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, it's dark. Think Sin City, but a little bit, a little bit back, you know. Um, not so much um, putting Elijah Wood against a bunch of wolves without any arms or legs. <laughs> not that far. Come on, pencil. Come on, pencil. Come on. There we go. And doing the Roscoe check. No Roscoe. That's sad. Would have thought that he'd be with me today. Oh, yeah, they're they're not pretty. I'll say that. Good stories, though. Fantastic stories. 
Um, yeah, just good characterization, good writing. Um, if that if that's a genre that you find yourself enjoying, um, I highly suggest reading it because it is a very very good nod to that um, that medium that that story uh, genre, I should say, and uh, definitely worth your time. The art's beautiful too. Um, <laughs> It's a French comic, uh, which is why it wasn't in the U.S. for the longest time. And uh, and I remember in the 90s, uh, Dark Horse did actually go ahead and get it uh, translated. Um, which was cool, because, I mean, Dark Horse tried a lot of cool stuff in the 90s. Um, the one that I always remember is Batman vs. Grendel. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Fettuccine Alfredo with grilled seasoned chicken is an excellent choice. Oven baked mac and cheese with breadcrumbs? Yes. I've heard the Black Sad game is kind of eh. Um, I, I think it's by people who don't quite like the series or haven't read the series before. So um, I'll have to check it out if it goes on sale. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Coming right up to the mic. Hi. Hey, yeah, don't rip my mic out. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Who's my dooper? Who's the big dooper? It's you. Yeah. Are you being a little bumblebee? Hmm? You're being a little bumblebee. Flap. Yeah. Flappy boy. You gonna sniff? You gonna sniff the mic? You sniffy? Yeah, I think the comics would be a much uh, a much better introduction. Um, I'm sure you can find them online, but I do suggest supporting the uh, creators because it's a very good, very good book, full color, um, painted. If I remember correctly, um, it was one of those ones that kind of got me because uh, it reminded me of um, the production of um, Batman: Arkham Asylum, the uh, the comic. And yeah, you laying down now. Uh, that one was completely watercolor. All the way through, every panel was a watercolor painting. Oh, hell yeah, Savage Dragon. I remember Savage Dragon. God, I had Savage Dragon number one. Had it. Don't know where the hell it is now, but... Yeah, I think I think you'll do great just looking for Black Sad. It's, it's good stuff. Ah, yeah, I'm excited for you to read it. <laughs> Especially as a writer, I think you'll enjoy it. All right, let's get some more. Yeah, that works. That that's what I was looking for. This is this is what I was trying to do. Man. I was playing with this the other day and I just could not get the eyes to work so I'm glad they finally work now or at the very least I'm happy with them <laughs> what was the score adorable how, how well did they trounce Was it a trouncing or did they eke it out? <laughs> Either way, a win's a win. Three to zero. That's pretty impressive for a baseball game. Full shutout. Damn. They pitched a no hitter. Dang. Good for them. Trimming this down a little bit just to give myself some more room. There we go. Hmm. 
notes, notes, notes. I'm looking at notes. Totally notes. Okay. One of the things I wanted to ask you, Gray, uh, you'd mentioned that he has um, his scale mail. Um, but then you also mentioned chain. Uh, is he is he wearing both? Oh, I'm gonna go on a different layer here. I'm gonna mess with his cowl here because that's a prominent, a prominent feature that you had mentioned. Okay. Gotcha. Breastplate and chain sleeves. Because I was, I was looking at all that armor. I'm like, bro is is hunting for bear. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. No worries. I can do that. Let's give him a more traditional, less pointy cowl. That is the airbrush tool. This is not a t-shirt. Uh, at a mall kiosk in the 90s, so I'm going to go ahead and get back to the pencil tool. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can get that. So, I'm going off of the the description of his clothes, kind of seem recently scavenged and everything. Um, would you would he have the ear holes in the cowl, or do you think he just goes straight up regular cowl with the uh, with the ears underneath? I could do either. I feel like having the ears in the cowl actually do make him more inconspicuous, obviously. Cool. I'm just going to keep that for now. So the boy has the breast plate. Ear holes? Okay, can do. Can I get the bigger eraser, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we will come back to that. That is the eraser tool again. Bring that in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yes, Zib, hum over the music with your own little ditty that doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm going to bulk out that uh, breastplate a little bit more. Also could probably stand to be a little bit more angular. Okay, and with the chain sleeves, are these going to be pretty orderly, or should are these kind of battle scrounged so they're a little beat up? Or I'm not going to forget the thigh plates. He does have thigh plates. <laughs> oh, Roscoe's asleep. He's sleeping on my floor. Nope, he's awake. He knows I'm talking about him. He knows I'm going to embarrass him. Okay, from his elbows to his wrists and his knees to his ankles. And that's the... Uh, Protective layer of gray and lightly blizzarding cloth. Okay. So we are going to have... Down to the ankles. That's good. And then... Banged up sleeves, gotcha. Yeah, don't tell him I'm asleep. <laughs> I'll tell him what I good well want. <laughs> <laughs> this dog would never be abused in any way. He's a cherished, cherished child. So I got the, just the beginner texture in there, so I know where the chainmail begins. And I think, not the child abuse. Uh, I think you had said his tabard. Do dee buddy do. Was the loincloth more of like a uh, like a tabard, or was that a uh, just kind of a, a no frills affair? You had said his tail is low. Seems like it... Like most cats, his tail is very indicative of his general mood. Do -do -do. No frills, gotcha. Just... 
pulled it off the first cobalt he killed and was like, this is mine now. Nah, he's fine. He's just like, you know what? I am going to be more confident with my body. Thank you, adventurer, for stealing my loincloth. Oh, sleepy boy. And he's out of juice because he's been pooping all day. <laughs> Poor guy. The teardrop on there. <laughs> oh, that cobalt gas is. We call him flashy. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, I see. And no cape, no uh, no cloak portion, just the cowl. Just the cowl. Just the cowl, ma'am. Meanwhile, in Mrs. McGillicuddy's third grade class. Cool. I feel like he's got the basic elements here. Anything that he seems to be missing outright, Gray? A flat puppy over here. Ah, capes are out of reach. I'm going over my notes as well. <laughs> ah, the belt. Might be hard to depict with him sitting down. I could throw it to the side, though. He's got the holy symbol. Cloth wrappings is leg and fan braces. Breastplate. Ah, center mask carries a tattered cloak draped over a breastplate. Hmm. We shall avoid the cloak. 
despite it specifically being in the direction. <laughs> okay. Ah, one version with and one without. Okay, so we're looking uh <laughs> Boom, done. <laughs> so it's not a bad idea, actually, for me to, to get that kind of in right now. like the look here because he kind of looks uh kind of kind of has a vibe of like a like a veteran crusader who's seen one too many incredible bullshits there we go we have uh, sitting on the ground in the rain version, the springtime version. Rain, spring, rain, spring, rain, spring. <laughs> if you see anything that might need to be jumped back in there, just let me know. <laughs> he's 24 and he's already seen so much bullshit. Yeah, nah. That's kind of how I feel about uh, life right now. <laughs> so many friends who are just like, I've lived through all this crazy shit and I'm like 25. And it's like, yeah, no, I get it. It only gets worse. Let's get them big old sorrowful eyes first. Can't have the bags and those. Good old Shala's theme. got a little too beefy. Zoom in, Zib. I know, adorable. <laughs> Life gets better when we make it better. And that's not easy to do. Doodle doo doo. Doo doo. Zoom in, zippy. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zippy.
Ooh, wow. I actually feel like I got that expression down pretty well. Oh, does that chainmail go all the way up to his neck? Does he have a coif? Or is that uh, is that just going to be like a shirt? I'm going to chunk up his fur a little bit too because he's a little smooth. Shirt, gotcha. So no, no coif for this boy. I got a chance to weave chainmail once. It uh, it is not e once you get into a, a rhythm with it, it definitely gets easier. But man, it is tedium. And I was lucky; I was only using a uh, aluminum. Yeah, it's not easy. I, I don't. I don't begrudge anybody who gives up on that because I remember uh, the guys that did Lord of the Rings um, came up with uh, chainmail that was made out of plastic. They just uh, took PVC piping and had a little machine that they rigged up with a uh, razor blade that would just cut it at a specific size, and they would put these chainmail links together out of PVC pipe, and it wore the uh, it wore the fingerprints off their thumb and forefingers. They were doing that for like eight years. Just going to that room and making chain mail. It's like, God help them. It's a lot of damn chain mail.
Yeah, yeah, they did. It was, uh, it was a long time to be making chainmail, but those those I give them credit because the armor in that uh, in that series of movies looked great, especially like the elven chain and stuff looked really nice. Do do. Let's figure out the leg plating, because if I don't do that... realized I was holding my breath there for a second. <laughs> like, good grief. Chill out, Zib. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. You sniffing me to make sure I'm okay. You're a good boy. You're a good baby. With your big old brown eyes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, I scare the dog all the time. <laughs> scare the dog when I'm talking. I scare the dog when I'm driving. I scare the dog when I'm juggling chainsaws. It just never ends. Scaring the dog. Weeknights at 4.30. Only with Fabian Zip. Hang on a second. I seem to have skipped pages somewhere. He's in here. There he is. Got all my my projects. There we are. That's better. Wouldn't be one of my streams if it didn't just go blank at some point and scare everybody. That's how you make a horror game for uh, for artists. It's basically Five Nights at Freddy's, but instead of there being dangerous animatronic children robots running around, uh, you occasionally don't save. And it's the same noise and everything. It's the... <coughs> but, like, it's just a prompt that just says, you know, Clip Studio must close.
And just to let you know, I will be adding texture to those chain sleeves. I just am leaving them for last because I have textured chain sleeves before, and they are about as monotonous as making chain sleeves. Let's fix that hand. Sorry for the silence here, just kind of getting zoned in. It's nice to get into a flow state even when I'm just working on stuff for this. I'm wondering if they're if they're doing the Apple thing where uh, they're just intentionally slowing down users with older devices because the uh, this one's been barking about memory for a long time and it, yes CSP uses a lot of memory but it's a freaking drawing program. Not looking too bad. Oh, you pass. 
chest out again. Oh, you know I'm talking about you. Hi. Hey, Snuffles. You sniffing? What you doing, buddy? Huh? Yeah. You want to talk into the mic? Hmm? Oh, he's leaning up against me, guys. What am I supposed to do now? Yeah. I love you, buddy. Yeah. My good little man. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah. He's so cute. I, I love the fact that... I love the fact that he is so affectionate. I've never had a dog that's been affectionate before, so it's... Not no, I mean, I mean, they've. I've had dogs, that, you know, that show affection, but he's, he's a leaner and he's a cuddler, and it's like, oh, it's like, don't grow out of this, buddy. I know it's a, it's a puppy thing, but don't grow out of it, please. God, it's nice. It's nice when you walk into a room and an animal's just like, I need to touch you. It's like, okay, well. Welcome back, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. You got a snuffle? You got something for the people at home? Oh, just lick my nose. Get your sweetie. He's a very kissy boy. He likes to kiss a lot. He licks all the time. Are you going after my socks? I need those. Those are medicinal. No way. Get away from those socks. You can't have those socks. You can't have those socks. Yeah. My tootsies get cold. I have to put on a sock. You got little warmers on your feet. Yeah. Please don't eat any of those. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching you. I'm not drawing because you're here. <laughs> Like, please, please don't eat any of the plastic things that are in here. I already have all of my my furry and anime figures far up above the floor just to make sure he can't get to them. Last thing I need him doing is like pooping out half of a Hatsune Miku, you know. Or for my vet to be like, well, we got the x-ray back. We're just not sure what this is. And it's like, well, that is actually Princess Alina from Dragon Quest IV. Um, I need that back. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, not only would I lose potentially all the accessories and the figure itself, but, you know, the dog's li life would be somewhat in danger, I suppose. I suppose that's important. Yeah, you. That's you, Mr. Man. Hey, my busy little bee. That's what I call him all the time. He's a busy little bee. He's always doing something. Hi, ra, ra. Yeah. You chewing on me? Oh. Took him to the vet the other day. He is 65 pounds. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, buddy? 
I should put the stream category up as dog. <laughs> that is what I'm focusing on, apparently. What'd you get? Did you get something? No. Okay. You don't have to be a busy bee all the time. You could be a busy bee sometimes and sleep other times. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with you sleeping. Yeah, I'm cool with you sleeping. Oh, you're so soft. He has just the softest fur. Oh, my God. Yeah, he is a love. 65 pounds of love. Yeah. And he's just a baby. You're just a baby. It's terrifying to think that he is literally just a baby. All right, let's get this chain here. Oh, did you get your toy? He has a little little plush TV screen that squeaks that I refer to as Mike TV. That's his screen. That's his magic tablet. You can hear it, I think. You gonna squeak it? Can you squeak my TV? Of course, now he's gonna stop because I, I want him to. That's my big guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's become the Roscoe stream. Trying to do this thing for Gray. Now he brought in, he has a little green monster with horns. And uh, that is basically his bear, his, his teddy bear. He loves that thing. There are He'll bring it outside with him when he goes to the bathroom at night. And it's just the most endearing thing because he's just like, I have to bring my bear. He's like, you bring your bear, buddy. Yeah, you bring your bear. There are times he'll be squeaking something or he'll be doing something uh, that's that's annoying or something like that. And then I have to remind myself, it's like, I'll miss this. It's It's kind of a sobering thought, but at the same time, it's also very, like, grounding, I suppose. Like, it kind of helps you to remember, like, what really matters. I don't know. It's weird. Very, very woefully messed up this. 
iron cross design. Oh, I don't need the breastplate in there. Yeah, he's just he's he's just his he's a little guy. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe him. He's just a little guy. He makes me laugh. He's a he's a funny little dude. I suppose I'll keep him. Kind of up in the air for a bit, but you know, I guess I'll keep him. Since he's so cute. He is what I have understood I have understandably been told. He is a peanut. So, gotta keep them. Most of his toys squeak. <laughs> All right. Get a drink or a snack, because here comes the, the chain mail. Oh, man, it's all good. I had a paladin character that had uh, plate and chain, so I kind of just go into like a little a little trance while I'm doing it. You know what? I am doing this wrong. Oops. Don't need to get rid of the shoulder. Let's let's do this correctly, please. We're gonna zoom in. We're gonna weave this chain the way it's supposed to be woven. Okay, that looks terrible. <laughs> Somebody once said, in order to improve your line art, you have to be as excited to do the line art as you are to do the final piece. Like the coloring and everything. And it's the kind of philosophy I've been trying to follow a little bit more. I have to enjoy the process. I have to enjoy the actual the line art of it. Because it's part of the process. Actually, funny enough, I just remembered there is a chainmail brush. Let's see how it looks. If it looks good, we'll give it a shot. If it sucks, 
I can fall back on just making it. Do, 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 do. I actually think I already downloaded this brush. There it is, chain though. Oh, that's way easier. <laughs> Here's what I'll do. I'm going to put this on another layer, and then I'm going to throw it on here just for fun. And I'm going to see if I can change the perspective on it a little bit. Eh, it's all right. I had another one. Let's try the other one. Ooh, I think I like this one. Push, 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 push. We can remove little parts of it. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Gray, you got to be liking that. And then we're going to tear it up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, let me drop the... Uh, and drop the size by about half. You know what? It actually looks good a little bit better bigger. <laughs> That's what she said. There we go. I think it's the lead up that's killing me. It's on another layer, so I'm just going to go nuts. Hell yeah. Oh, man, I'm loving that. You can't see it, but I'm actually dancing a little bit because I'm actually kind of happy about this. <laughs> Getting the shoulders into it. That's why I can't draw at the moment. Yeah! We're dancing! Literally screwing up <laughs> my stuff here because I'm dancing. Yeah, squeaka, squeaka. Oops, wrong thing. There we are. Yeah. Why use many word when few word do trick? God damn this game for having such good music. Like, now that I understand more of the story, it's like, God damn that game. Oh, hell yeah, that is some chain fucking mail. Oh, hell yeah. Back up to not to worry, it's on its own layer, so it's not messing with any of the other line art. It's just gonna be messy chain mail, and we're just gonna delete crap we don't need. Ah, oh, it's so easy, easy to kill. Yeah, you're right, buddy. It's easy. Yeah, it's easy. My little do. As long as you're not pooping in the house, buddy. Not only did he poop in the house, he pooped on an air vent. I was just like, oh, this is... This is far from ideal. <laughs> you know, there's one thing that I, I've learned, actually... Uh, with dogs, you can't get mad at them for stuff like that. I mean, you can be annoyed, of course, but you you can't get angry. It's it's just one of those things where it's like, dude, this is my fault. Like, <laughs> I didn't read the dog properly. He was walking around. He was restless. It's like, normally, if he has to go, he gives me like a little, 
And it's just like, oh, okay, we'll take you outside. But he didn't. We just came in from playing, so he was like... <laughs> and I was just waiting for him to calm down so I could give him some dinner. And I'm just like... Doth mine nose deceive me? Be that poopy. And then, yeah, there it was. Right on an air vent. And, uh, and I was like, you know what? Not his fault. He is a dog. He does not understand air vents. <laughs> oh, bro. Easiest goddamn chainmail I've ever done. It's such a good mood right now. This is great. Okay, switch back over to best pen ever. Is that what I was using? Yes, I was using best pen ever. Okay, good. Let's get this tail. Let's get some tail. Just saved so much time. realize this is all on its own layer still so let's still mess with this without hurting the line art adds a little more three-dimensionality to the uh, breastplate there makes it not as flat <laughs> cobalt wanders into a tavern I fair cobalt. What should you be wanting today? I'm looking for some tail. You're you're looking for tail, eh? Uh, well, you're not in the wrong place. Hi. What? What? What you doing, Boo Boo? Hmm? You making noises? You goggle party? Hmm? Two goggle party. Is that what you need? You need to go party, Bubby? Yeah. Okay. You guys enjoy uh, Wither for a moment. And I am going to go ahead and see if he needs to go potty. So I will be right back, okay? Everybody chill. Nobody break everything.
I said don't break stuff. All right. I have returned. A few more details, and I believe Wither here is going to be getting the color treatment. sealed door. I thought this was in the depths of the night. Yeah, you broke stuff. Adora bald. <laughs> no, nothing was broken. Nothing of value was broken. <laughs> Even going by that rubric, nothing of value was broken. Okay. And, oh! Tailly tail. I gotta finish the tail. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, beep. Bop, boo. Where's best pen? There is best pen. This pen is. <laughs> I need this to be a color. Can I have it as a color, please? Thank you. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty proud of this. Ah! Hello, yes, that's my soundboard. You almost knocked it off the floor. Yeah. You're silly. <laughs> Aren't we all? Aren't we all? rivets in there just for fun. I'm going to move my microphone so you can actually hear my incessant ramblings. about him is he is not smelly. Yeah, you know, you're not smelly. I can't call you Roscoe Smelly Belly. I can't. I mean, I can, but it's fruitless. All right. 
So here we are, I think, with Wither. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased at this. Gray, what is the verdict with the cowless version? I'm working I'm gonna work on the cowled version. Alright, would you like me to chunk that one up a little bit more? Does he have like a, a specific hairstyle or head first style or um uh, is it just a little bit more chunky fur? No, now he looks bald. And if I give him an earring, he's the furry version of Mr. Clean. Just chunk your fur. All right. Can do, my good sir. Can do. Get rid of some of that dome. Get some dome. God, I wish. There we go. I'll, I'll fuzz up his ears a bit, too. Why not? Looks like a traveler. Looks like he's, he's A, seen some shit, and B, been on the road for most of it. There is nothing quite like being really pleased with a piece of art that you're working on to lift your mood. I didn't even have a bad day. Oh, there we go. There we go. More pointy ears? Okay. I was going with the panther, but yeah. I can do pointy. Let's go ahead and we'll point those a little bit more. There we go. A little more alley cat kind of look with the uh, with the pointed ears. I'm holding. I'm waiting. I will take a sip of potion. An empty flagon. You like the pointy? Here it is at a little bit of more of a distance. Let me get the sketch out of there. Oop. 
What happened there? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, not necessary. But... Ooh, I think the cowl is going to look really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's do the uh, cowl layer then. And then we'll add a cape layer. Cloak layer, I should say. go. I think we got him. What are you thinking, Gray? We'll take off the... The, uh, the cloak on the, on the left side is a little weak. Let's try to get that reined in here. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Psh, psh. Okay, and that. Okay. So this is cloak and cow. There we go.
There we go. Not too bad for a little bit over an hour and a half. Or, you know, almost two hours. <laughs> Still, not bad. Not bad at all. Let me actually connect up some of this cloak to make it a little easier to... to work with. <laughs> okay. Hey, Foxfire, good to see you. Thanks. This is this is uh, Gray's character, Wither. He can tell you all about him. Let's see, how is this going to turn out? Yeah. As I suspected, there are holes in this cloak. Now I still have to rectify this momentarily. Yep. All right, okay, I was going to say, is there, is there color that's going to come out of there or what? Whoops. Whoops. Oh, the ear holes. Of course, of course, the ear holes. It was the ear holes. What an ear hole this guy is. <laughs> missing something here what is what is keeping this from doing what I want it to do where are you sneaking out I would think it'd just be there there must be something I am missing but what und wer let's just outline the part All right, now you should. Now you should comply. You have 13 seconds to comply. That's better. Look at that. Well, can't win them all.
Keep stopping breathing. Keep breathing. Gray fur. Topaz eyes. Well, now I have to remember what a topaz looks like. <laughs> Help me. 
me tiny internet. Ooh. It's a very pretty yellow. Sorry, just getting into a into a, into another zone session here. Sorry. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, 
so the wraps on his arms are also gray. We'll probably go with like a mid, mid cool gray. A slightly warm gray. Oh, missed his knee there. Let me get that with his. Let's get these cut in. <laughs> I probably have a spatter brush in here somewhere. Thank you. 
What do we think? What do we think? I think that's about all I have energy for this evening. Some touch-ups and stuff that I can do later, but... What do we think? Me and this one here. Looks a little thin. Let's see. Yeah, it's a it's a little off. We'll, we'll adjust that. Oh, this one, this one over here. His right arm. Gotcha. That should be a little bit bigger relative to the uh, to the arm going in. How's that look, Ray? Widen that arm out a little bit. Mm. 
Yeah, no worries. I will do some touch-ups and I will throw it on Discord for you. Ooh. Ooh-wee. That took most, if not all, of my emergies. And I don't even have a dog with me. He a lanky boy. I had to get a a, a bishy uh, model that I could pose. Hello, baby boy. Oh, did you come to say goodbye to all the people? Well, like I said, I will do some uh, some touch-ups, and I will do some work on this one, and maybe just give a little bit of a background. And I will post it up on Discord for all to see. So, um, thank you guys so much for showing up. I, I believe I'm going to go ahead and call it for tonight. I'm, I'm a little deep. But, um, yeah, I'm glad you like it, Gray. And um, hopefully I can do some more of this stuff for people uh, as we go. And, um, yeah, so good night from Roscoe. He's, he's laying down again. Yeah. Oh, he's just a sleepy baby. But, yep. Ah, mm. very good. I shall stream again Monday. I shall see you all then. Have a pleasant evening. And I will catch you all then. See you later. Oh, um, you know what? That's the trouble with having the cloak on and off is I have to get sneaky. Let me let me do one thing here and see if I can't just finesse this. Oops. No. This eyedropper tool has been such a pain in the ass. It's like, pick up the color that I'm tapping on. Okay. Well, this should work, and if I take... Yeah. Yeah. If I take the cloak completely off, then, yeah, then I can, the tail is still there. Okay. There we go. Whew. Oh, my goodness. Have a good night, everybody. I will catch you later. I'm going to go ahead and save this and everything. I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.